I'm going to create a form in this tutorial and I just went to my Google Drive so if you are signed into your Google account go ahead and go there and we're going to go over here to the side where it says create and choose form I'm going to give this form a title uh, I'm going to do something very very simple right now I'm just going to call it addition and subtraction Okay, so my first question is going to be find the sum of 5 plus 5. And it has a text box. So if I hit done, then my students should have to type the answer in there. On this one, I'm going to go over here and click edit sample question 2, and I'm going to change this to which is the, or how about what is the difference? What is the difference between 10? What is the difference of 10 minus 3? And I'm going to change this one from text to multiple choice. So for option 1, I'm going to choose 6. Option two, four, option three, seven, and on option four, I'm going to choose three. Done. Okay, now I would continue adding in different questions by going up to add item, choosing what it is I need here. So it could be choose from a list. About what is. 6 plus 2, let's choose from a list on my options, I'm going to choose 5, 3, 8, and 10, and then I'm done. This one's just going to basically be the same thing as my multiple choice, but I've got a drop down menu instead. Whenever I'm totally finished with my quiz, I'm going to click down here on this link that's been provided to me and there's here's my quiz and this would be the URL that I would give my students so let's go ahead and type in here the sum of 5 plus 5 would be 10 the difference of 10 minus 3 I'm going to choose 6 and then what is 6 plus 2? We got that one. It's 8. I'm going to hit submit and I'm done. Okay. Now I'm going to go back into my Google Drive and here's my addition and subtraction quiz. Now you can see here, here's my answers. Let's say that my students need to be able to show me how it is that they've arrived at a particular answer. So I need to be able to get some very quick information just by looking at these results right here. And if a student is not performing where I need them to, then I need that to really stand out to me. So what I might do is conditionally format a column. The way I do that is come up here, click on this little arrow, and then go down to conditional formatting. So if the text here contains anything other than what the answer is, then I'm going to color it so it stands out. So I think one of my answers was six. I know that another one I think I put in there was three and so on. I want my background, I'm going to click on that, and I want that to be yellow just so it will stand out, and then I'm going to click Save Rules. So what should have happened already is that this 6 should have lit up. I'm going to go back in and double check that. 
let me get rid of my three. There we go. So if I want that to highlight for any other of those numbers that was incorrect, then I'm going to have to make a new rule for that one as well. This is what the teacher is going to be looking at. So that way if they can be watching this, they can see that this particular student is the one who missed this question and might need to work on that as the day progresses. Another thing that I've seen teachers use this for would be if students aren't correctly displaying their knowledge in writing. So let me go back in. Here's a quick and easy way to get to your form. You click form. I'm going to edit my form and I'm going to add an item. For this one, let's say, how did you arrive at that answer? And I'm going to move it right up here. Okay, now I'm done. My question that this one is below is what is the difference of 10 minus 3? If my students say something like I started with 10 and I took 3 away to get to 7 then my answer that answer is probably going to be right. If they say I counted backwards or something like that again that answer is going to be right. So I'm going to close this and then this should be right over here. I'm going to go in and conditionally format that. So the text contains counted back. That's going to tell me that they use the right words. So now I'm kind of changing my rule. Before, I wanted to see if they were getting it wrong. Now I'm kind of wanting to see if they're getting it right. I'm going to make that be highlighted in orange. I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to go into my quiz. I need to refresh this since I've added a question. Sum of 5 and 5 is 10. Difference 10 minus 3. I'm going to put the right answer this time. Alright, now let's go in and check this. And you can see right here it's highlighted because I got that answer correct. And this can tell me if my students truly do know how they've arrived at different math answers.